What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case RK's video. On this one today, we got another mid-size 27 inch RK cabinet. Magic the Gathering. Again, it's been a pretty busy week so far. You saw my last video, I sent out the mid-size Nintendo cabinet. I just kind of did a quick kind of skim or look on that video and you could see the Magic the Gathering cabinet. Um, this one's going out to Long Island, Lori and William. They originally messaged me on my Facebook ad for the Micro Center Atari 27 inch cabinet. Uh, but basically when they started talking about some features and stuff and honestly custom artwork, I suggested the 27 inch mid-size from Game of Solutions. We were going through back and forth on artwork. Uh, first of all, it was supposed to be a Pokemon themed cabinet um and then later on uh we went with william's uh favorite i guess game slash hobby and that was magic the gathering so i'm pretty proud of this one i'm always proud of all my builds i always say it. it sounds like a broken record but this one is awesome awesome i did all the artwork um i like challenges like this because i don't know much of magic the gathering so i like i tell all my customers i'm like listen I know games, I've heard of Magic the Gathering, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Um, you know, I, good versus bad, I, you know, I don't know. So I said, I always tell my customers, like, listen, you must tell me, like, what you want. Characters, I need exact name of characters and such. And luckily, I think I did a pretty good job pulling it off. Um, again, going through it, he had three main characters that he liked. I'm not even gonna attempt to, I, I'm gonna have to look at the control panel to tell you the names of the characters, but uh, we'll definitely take a closer look, a closer dive in. But a couple of cool custom things with this. Buttons came from, um, where did the buttons come from? Sorry, <laughs> buttons came from Paradise Arcade because he did want purple buttons. Um, originally we were looking, we were gonna be looking at a purple and orange button combo and Game of Solutions does not have that. So I found Paradise Arcade. No, this isn't a promo. I'm just pretty, I'm pretty happy with the buttons, honestly. They are pretty cool. Not to mention they did have different micro switch options, um, like different, I guess, pounds you could call it. And these buttons are, are pretty cool. They don't have Chrome. Do they have Chrome LED? They did have Chrome LED. I, they also have the Eclipse buttons, um, but not many options for purple. So basically we kept the theming and I'll bring you closer, I'll get out of self mode. Um, but again, totally custom. Let's talk first about the artwork and then we'll go into the buttons. So this cabinet right now, again, 27 inch mid-size Game Room Solutions cabinet running Raspberry Pi 15,000 games, two arcade control panel sticks, obviously. And then I do have the two wireless PS3 controllers making it a four player cabinet so now real quick i want to focus on the artwork on this one again magic the gathering themed i did message game of solutions and i asked him hey do you have a magic the gathering and he said no uh tyler said no we never did a magic the gathering so i i had to go fully custom i always like i always like going fully custom this way i don't have to bother game of solutions um but this is pretty cool let's focus first on the control panel uh, again very important to always use like high resolution png files uh, especially when it comes to like the cards um here was his three favorite characters he's got this nicole aloro and savra so those are like the main three characters that he liked and while i was looking up files for this like i mean i understand it i mean i don't know pokemon either but like these are like different versions of this one character so that's where honestly when i told the customer i said listen you got to tell me and I, I it was a lot of back and forth which is perfectly fine it's just they weren't prepared for all of the back and forth um you know william said vic I, I really appreciate the time you're taking to send me each file to make sure i like it and such so that's just part of the of of, of what i do i have to make sure you the customer like it and you know if you want specific characters and stuff it is my job to make sure that I get it done. Uh, I'm gonna start first with the marquee because the marquee actually is pretty interesting. This is a image I found on Google, right? So we have here the two, four, there's six characters here. And this is what I always laugh, you know, when I have other people, you know, tell me about other sellers experience. You gotta know how to work Photoshop. So 
There is an image on Facebook, not on Facebook, on Google. There's an image on Google that has like this kind of style. It's really like right here, like these these two were, and then the other ones were blank. Um, and these other characters were that were on it originally, he didn't like them. So basically, going to Photoshop, you gotta erase out the um, you know the original image and then replace it. So this character here, which again is a character that he liked, wasn't here. I put it in. There was another character that was in the middle, swapped it out with the other character that he liked, which I believe was, um, I think it was this one, Aloro or Savra. Uh, I know it was one of these. Uh, this one's either Savra. Again, I'm not even going to try to attempt it, but it just goes that in depth. Check out the bezel. Same thing with the bezel, trying to get a couple of key characters. And again, a character that he wanted and a character here. Um, Magic the Gathering has these kind of five symbols. Again, I'm not even going to attempt to explain what it is. Let's just admire it. Um, I do definitely like the Magic the Gathering logo. There was different variations of it. Um, me, when you tell me magic, I think of that, the orange and the red. Uh, you know, I'm 30 years old, so I do remember seeing like commercials and stuff. And that was the key one. There was like a newer Magic the Gathering logo, but we both agreed that we didn't really enjoy it. So now as I was going through images, I kind of noticed this trend of like light. There was like light characters, meaning like bright, I guess you're saying. And then there was another trend of like dark characters. Uh, again, basically darkness. So um, basically William, I, 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 gave him, I gave him one sample and he was like, holy shit, that's fucking awesome, do it. Uh, I basically gave him really like these two here. And again, all this, you can find all these images on Google, obviously, but you just got to know how to blend it in. So this is one image here. You got the opacity eraser tool here. This was very cool. I did enjoy this, but just like another feature that you could definitely see the custom artwork to it, where this is an original, this, this little like wind streak here is part of her image but it blends in with this again you got to know how to use photoshop i'm not saying i'm an expert at photoshop but i like this like this side right here that is one two three separate images and it just blends perfectly um this was a big character he did like this character again i'm giving up on naming the characters i'm sorry um so he kind of also noticed my other cabinets like marvel versus capcom that i did um, basically, this was like the light version of this character. And then on the opposite side is the dark version of this character. So again, very important. I, I go in depth with artwork because, you know, some people just see it as an arcade cabinet. For example, the uh, mid Nintendo that I delivered yesterday, he's like, Vic, this is like a work of art. It's a piece of art. And I was like, yes, that's kind of, you know, people put these in their living rooms. They, they put them in their game rooms. You don't want it to look ugly. You got to make sure that you like it. Let's take a look at the dark side. I'm pretty proud of this one too. Same thing. Like, you know, there's so many images of like Magic the Gathering and uh, went through a couple of, of things. This, I definitely love this. Like this image was boss. He loves this character and just a great image. Um, good blend here, as you can see right here. Another blend kind of scenario like the other one. Other side, I should say. And on the top here, we got two characters here, Valkyries. I mean, I played God of War and when I saw that it was labeled Valkyrie, which is, it was, it was pretty cool. So again, just a quick kind of look at the artwork on it. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's awesome. Control panel too. This was one image on Google, this whole like background image. But then I thought about adding the cards, even the cards here, if my f camera cooperates, each of these five individual png files shrunk down he does like all of these characters i asked him i was like listen give me you know characters and these are the main three that he likes and then others that he also likes um take a look at the kick plate here so you got the front plate magic the gathering another little magic logo that i found looks clean this one here uh it kind of resembles these like five icons I'm pretty sure people like from that, like, like magic are just like, this guy has no idea. <laughs> I don't, but I think I did a pretty damn good job on the artwork. <laughs> Riser on this, 
kept it kind of simple because I didn't want to put too many characters. Some people look at this and they go, holy shit, there's a lot of characters on it. So when it came to the riser, I suggested a William. I was like, listen, let's keep the riser like simple. This way you could distinguish like cabinet versus riser. So uh, this was a stock Google image. This one I made even has like this kind of diamond plate pattern background to it details that's that's the main thing to get out of this video right here is the details left and right riser place match again it's like i i, I didn't uh, usually customers send me a picture of where the cabinet is going to go and uh william didn't send it to me but i am very excited to deliver this actually later today and uh i'm excited to see it in his house so again, Raspberry Pi builds 15,000 games. This is running a track mode on it. So I just went right out to the Neo Geo um, category. After 30 seconds, it will go into a track mode. Uh, again, obviously LED'd out. You got LED underneath the control panel. You got LED marquee. I'll turn off the lights in a few. You got LED buttons. And obviously there is LED glow in the back of it. Turn off the garage lights. Okay. So again, just to kind of look at the glow on it. Marquee looks amazing. Definitely digging how like my, usually I use Chrome LED buttons, but you could see without the Chrome LED, this control panel Plexi kind of has like an edge light to it now. It's, it's pretty cool. And then you got you, the control panel underglow to really glow up the um, kick plate. Uh, you can see a little bit of the back glow. Again, I'm pretty far from the garage door, but there is night mode on this cabinet. Okay. So now real quick to take a look at Paradise Arcade buttons that were sent. I've, I always have the Chrome here. Um, I basically just bought 12 buttons from Paradise Arcade with the micro switch, with the LED, and I also bought their bat tops to it. Um, Game Room Solutions, I have a bunch of buttons. Um, so I did do the Chrome up top here. Some people might see the mismatch but I think it's kind of cool how it looks here where it's arcade buttons and then admin buttons, coin buttons. So it kind of separates it almost kind of like how this whole Magic the Gathering theming is working. Um, definitely though, I do dig these buttons. There's not, um, I would kind of compare them to the Sanwas that like, you know, it, it's not a heavy button press. Uh, it's pretty light to press it. Um, again, they did have different micro switch pound options. This one I went with no pound at all. And uh, I like it. The other thing also is to note the bat tops. This kind of has like a see-through kind of bat top. And I think it works with the magic theming. Um, again, it's just, it's just unique. This kind of like, you can kind of see my fingers go through it. Uh, I, I'm drawing a blank on what exactly the bat top was called. Um, but it just, it looks different. It looks cool. It looks like it goes with the steaming of like magic and flames and spheres and orbs and witches. And I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to sound good talking about magic, but yes, paradise arcade, no hookups. I pay just like any other customer. Just wanted to note that in case anybody does look at the video, they were really the only one that have purple buttons. I wish they had purple eclipse. Um, I don't think they did. There's a reason why I didn't go with the Eclipse. I forgot why. Um, but yes, there are our Paradise Arcade buttons. So real quick on Navigate. Again, obviously you do have 2200 arcade games on it. Uh, I am going to go to one which was Robotron. Very unique request for this one. So I'm using my letter skip to kind of navigate 2200 games. Um, so if I go R-O-B-O, -O, cool. I'm going to load up with Robotron, button one. Big thing, Lori messaged me. She goes, listen, my boyfriend wants Robotron. He has, you got to make sure that it runs the two joysticks. Um, I have to lower my, my screen actually a little bit. Bring it down a little. I'll do that before I deliver it to the customer. But big thing was to make sure that Robotron worked the way Robotron should work, which is left control to move the character and then right is to shoot. So I'm not gonna be able to do this one handed, but as you can see, we do have the shoot and the walk. So no buns on this. Awesome. Definitely, definitely. 
I mean, I've I've done Robotron twice like that. Usually stock, I, I it sets to the buttons. That's how the image is. But got to know how to go into MAME, MAM, hit tab, and then adjust accordingly. Uh, you could basically shift exit out and you keep on playing. So I always do all my videos. I'm going to try to do something different, but uh, people do a lot of my customers. It's very funny. Like, do you have Street Fighter? Yes, Street Fighter is on it. I do have regular Street Fighter just to save time. I always load up Super Street Fighter because Super is SU. I would have to go up to Street Fighter 2 for like the Champion Edition. Um, but all in all, it is awesome. Now that I mentioned that thing about the screen, give me a second, let me fix it. We are back, cool. Screen good, logo hidden, awesome. So again, I always load up Street Fighter because people always ask me like, you know, does it play Street Fighter? Obviously it does, it plays your main classics. You gotta have like Street Fighter. Volume rocker switch down below. Z313 with a subwoofer on it. And again, as I always say in my videos, just to check basic kind of controls, you want to always run Street Fighter. Ah, all right, cool, second try. <laughs> and you want to just make sure all six buttons register. That's how I always tell people to do it. So again, not really much of a click. Lower the volume. Not much of a click compared to the regular Game Room Solutions one. So it's definitely like light on the fingers. It's, it's, it's definitely a cool feeling button, definitely different. Um, but all in all, awesome as always. I can never do the one handed I do going like this. <laughs> I can't do it on that one. We'll do shift exit and keep on rocking. So I went real quick to grab PlayStation controllers. Again, symbol one button, give it maybe 15, 20 seconds, it will sync up. So player three and player four on the PlayStation controller. So the arcade sticks are always players one and two. And then depending on which one you turn on first, player three and four. Let's launch Sunset Riders. Again, I always try to show different games because I don't want to be too repetitive. And you know, you the viewers like to see this. So Sunset Riders is a four player game. There is a way to set it to two player. You will need a keyboard. You'll have to press tab. You'll have to go into the main and change it to two players. But all these games like TMNT and The Simpsons, I always have those set to four player. So as you can see. And we're good to go. So just like The Simpsons button, there's no start button. It's actually like button one. So as you can see. Right here. So I'm gonna use D-pad. And awesome. As you can see, Sunset Riders, four players, awesome. I always get this question asked a lot when it comes to NBA Jam. NBA Jam is a classic arcade game, obviously. I do have two versions of NBA Jam on my image. Just to show, add all the coins. This is good. So. This is set to two player. So my original NBA Jam, regular NBA Jam is set to two player. I have tournament edition that is set to four player. So you could use four, the four controllers, two arcade sticks and the two PlayStation controllers to make NBA Jam tournament work for four players, okay? So if I put these coins in, as you can see, there's four players on the bottom now. So I'm pressing start. You can see that. The only thing about four player NBA Jam, the way the, really the, the control panel on a real NBA Jam was, was players one, two, three, and four. Um, right now it's set to one, two, three, and four. So players one and two will be on the arcade sticks. Players three and four will be, yes, on the PlayStation controller. So just keep that in mind. Unless you get an actual four player control deck, it would be wired correctly. But in this situation, player one and two is the arcade sticks. Players three and four are the controllers. So now here's the very unique thing. This is really gonna be meant for William, but this is also for other people because people do notice this. This does play consoles, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, the NES, but people do know or notice, I should say, hey, the NES wasn't arcade sticks. I don't want to play with arcade sticks. 
how can I get the PlayStation controller to work with the arcade stick? So consider this kind of like a tutorial real quick. Uh, I'm gonna load up Super Mario only because it's easier that way. I should actually use my button skips. As you can see, I'm using my button skips. I'm gonna go to U, not S, I mean SU. Just load up a regular one. Let's do Super Mario 2. So button one to press. So the best thing is to load the game and again, some people say, why don't I give them it in this way when I deliver? It's just sometimes the PlayStation controls, you got to charge them or you're not in the mood to charge them. They're dead. Now you got to use the arcade stick. So right now, again, this is set to use the arcade sticks. Okay. Now, if you try to use like player three or four, you, you can't. This is, con this is mapped to player three. So how do I change arcade sticks to a controller? So the way I have it set is that you hold shift button two, it'll bring up this menu here. You're going to press this button here to go back. You're going to go down to settings. Button four is enter. You're going to go down to input. Button four is enter. You're going to go to input player one. Button four is enter. This now, the only thing that's going to be crazy here is you're going to go to this line here. You're going to want to go right. If you go left, you've disabled it. And now like you, you, you can't navigate. You would have to get a keyboard involved right now. Again, this is set to Zinmo controller one. If I go right and as you can see, I went right, but now nothing happens. That's because now it's reading as Zinmo controller two. That's player two here. If I go right one more time, it is now on the PlayStation controller. So now you have the PlayStation controller in your hand. This stuff is going to confuse a lot of people, but the button inputs for um, the hotkey are still assigned basically to the numbers on the Zinmo. I know I just confused the hell out of you. So there's two ways you can go about this, but basically you could press circle, which is back, back, back. You could go to quick menu, press X to enter and then X to resume. And now you could, I'm basically using the PlayStation controller. So again, arcade sticks don't work. Now the only issue basically is that now that you're playing it, you know, to save the state and everything, it's, it's, it's a little difficult. You're going to have to put, um, the game back to the arcade stick. So the way to do that, and I know it's going to be awkward as hell, but it's L1 and triangle will bring you back to this menu again. It's really like button 13 and four on the Zinmo. So luckily this is button 13 and this is button four. So just again, I know I'm talking weird, but basically using your controller. Now you go to settings, you're going to go back into that input. You're going to go back into player one. Now you're going to go with this. You're going to go left. And as you can see, with the Zinmo two, I'm going to go left. Now I'm on Zinmo one and now I can navigate. And now basically you could, uh, exit. So shift button two and then shift save like that. I know, I know you right now probably are so mad, but that is just, that's just, that's just the way it is. Um, you know, you have to go in the game and assign it. So as you can see now I'm able to navigate with the arcade sticks, the PlayStation controller doesn't work. Um, the only real, 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 uh, no, it's not. No, I'm not going to say it. Nope. I was going to say you could disconnect my Zinmo from the USB. No, I wouldn't suggest that. That is how you would do it. Yes. You would have to do it every time. Yes. It might be a deal breaker, but that again, that's something where even on hyper spin builds, I say, keep arcade to arcade and then keep controllers like N64 and the NES to controllers. But on that note, we got William and Lori's Magic the Gathering Cab officially going out today. It is raining in New York. Uh, it is July 3rd, tomorrow, July 4th. So they will be able to enjoy it for the 4th of July week end day holiday. Uh, and uh, we're going to wrap this thing up and get ready to deliver. VVP Game Case Arcades.